Alrighty, chat. This looks like an interesting one. All right, first up, we've got Steady Coffee. Anna, then Moira for some last minute spice. Hi, Flats, I have a doozy of a King's Row finish for you. Ryan Zarya, Ryan for our comp with an Anna, me, and Blessed. Mercy support. So you guys switched a few times. The other team ran an interesting echo. An interesting echo. Honestly, can't remember the others because she was my main priority most of the game. Much of the game. I must have had the wrong time for the tea party because I got copied not once, but twice for her ult and dueled. Targeted and pressured hard. Caused me to panic and make some interesting choices. Uh-oh. Ended up losing every one-on-one -on -one with her. Really messed up my nano during attack. Have my cast ask if I should go into spawn for heals or if he stood still. You should go into spawn for heals or if he stood still, could I heal him up? That's interesting. Our Ryan had us yelling and comes all match. All for all, should we entertain at my expense to tide people over to Overwatch 2's release? Cheers. I'm so interested by this type of stuff is yelling and comms all game. Like, I don't know how much of high level play you guys watch nowadays, but like most high level games are pretty fucking quiet. Skin check, by the way. Uh, Ana has so many good skins and you're choosing to go with this one. That's like a C. Okay, so first things first, okay? First things first, their echo is in the dumbest spot I've ever seen. Uh, two, I'm just confused why you don't line up your crosshair just to hit the in, the easy sleep dart the second the door opens. I mean, they flew away anyways, but good habits. Oh, wow, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a nice aim game, huh? I have one suggestion for you. Um, don't play horror games because holy shit, do you freak out. Also, have you had a shot yet? You're just shooting, like, I feel like you're just shooting randomly. At least on your tanks. Okay, trying. So, small tip, just to be helpful, because Kark, you taught me, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, it's, it, don't be afraid to scope in. Like, scoping in healing from a range is actually not that bad, so you're, you're chilling. All right, let's go. So, this is going to be one of those games where you just sit there and mindlessly heal your tanks, isn't it? I know, like, you're taught, like, this is the correct way to play the game, but it's not. Okay. All right. I take it back. That was actually the time it was the correct way to play the game, and you chose not to. God fucking damn it. I hate you. Dude, listen. It's fine to heal them up and when you're poking and you're walking through, but like, and look for plays. Like, nothing's wrong with that. But good lord, did, does anyone else see the giant f***ing critical? Man? Uh, dude, don't leave your Ryan by himself. Dude, you can go for the nade on the hogs and all that shit. Like, I'm totally chill. Uh, there you go. You slept him. Guess what? You know what would be nice to kill that hog if you had a f***ing team? You know why your team can't kill him? Because they're dead. Okay, good nade. Good nade. Nano, that's Zarya. Nano, that's Zarya. Nano, that's Zarya. Nano, that's Zarya. Stop trying to be ML7 and hit all your cooldowns across the map. Okay. If you hit a Nano on the Zarya, guess what? Naria, Zarya, full healed. Now you can hear your cast, and your cast doesn't die there. You flip the fight, and you fucking win. Now, instead, your fucking dumbass is sitting there being like, no, I have to save my ultimate. I have to save my ultimate. I can't. I can't waste it. I don't want to be that guy that wastes the enemy. Bullshit, dude. You're, you're building on a nade. Dude, it should be the fastest ult on your whole team. Except Tracer, if you have a Tracer. Even so, it's still pretty close. Use that bitch. Why are you fighting the Echo? Why are you dueling this Echo? I understand if you want to shoot at the Echo. That's fine. What the f*** are they doing? Now you shoot the stupid f***. But, like, you still have Nano. You're just letting your team die. Give Nano. Let her drink the Dude, uh, dude, give someone some confidence. Give him a nano and let him just f***ing hold W. Like, man, I'd rather you use the nano and let someone hold W than you sitting there just AFK. Give it to someone. Oh, my God. Are you saving it for Blade? Oh, my God. Wait, you just got a Genji. They're 23%. If you, I swear to Jesus, if you save this nano all the way up to nano blade, I'm going to lose it because you could have got it twice over. Oh my god, I'm just saying, I, I am going to blow a gasket if you save this the whole way through. Don't... Listen, man. Okay, listen. First off, aim trainers. Work on finding one. Second.
This Echo is just weird. Then again, they're playing Echo and Bronze, so maybe it's okay. Na na okay, all right. Now, now you're just targeting them. Now, now, now it's now it's now you've actually initiated it on on your own. So, uh, um, I'm impressed that you somehow missed that sleep dart. Get in there. So you nano your Ryan when he's down two or three? Get rolled. Hey, that. Hey, you're sorry. I could use some healing. Nice. There you go. There you go. Dude, stop randomly throwing your nade and your sleep dart to try to do shit. It don't work like that. It's a long ass cooldown, and especially Overwatch 2, way more punishing. Stop. Ma imagine if you had sleep dart right here. Sleep this fight in mean, flanking junk rats. Then nade him and you kill him and it's a freebie. You're right. Hello, dude. As a tank player, you're pissing me off. You're starting to piss me off. Because you're sitting you spam heals into your tanks when they're full HP. And then once they're full HP and they go to do something, you look away. Stop. You have to understand you're not looking for criticals. You're looking for where they're playing. When your tanks hold W, that's when you start to look at them because they're going to take damage. That's why you'll see a lot of high level players sometimes pre heal at the very beginning of a fight where they'll shoot one shot in and it doesn't actually heal anything. That's because they're expecting them to take damage. You are waiting till they're one HP before you look at them. That's not how it works. Also, you see that guy on high ground? You know you have ranged heals, right? Okay. Also, uh,. I'm not trying to be a dick, but it like, it almost looks like in some areas, like you're cheating, but it's just, I think it's just your, um, cause you're not snapping on anyone. Like you're snapping into random areas. Uh, I don't know if it's like your internet or your, or your DPI or your sensitivity is just extremely high or your, it could be lagging, I guess true, but no, it's not controller. It's not controller. It's like snaps. It's like, it's like connection issues or or like extremely high sensitivity movements. It's it's like, I wouldn't be surprised if you end up killing people in the future and they start saying you're cheating because you're snapping. But the difference is you're not snapping to targets, you're snapping to areas, which is how you can tell it's just more of a connection issue. I wonder how you're gonna deal with this junk right up top. I know you know, don't know he's there yet, but. Explain to me this. Explain to me, seriously. Your whole team is sitting here, fighting in front of you, right? Everyone's sitting here, fighting in front of you, right? Everyone's sitting here, you know, everyone's taking the fight. We're taking the fight, we're fighting, you know, we're doing some healing. We're doing a little bit of healing, we're trying to do better. One, you don't have enough ammo. Two, why are you looking around? Like, I'm confused. Like, your soul just taking damage. Like, your teammates, like, you do this all the time. And, it, like, that time wasn't honestly that egregious. But you constantly look around when there's no threats. Um, you know what? Deserved. It's like you're trying to copy, like, high-level play. Like, see what they do, but you don't understand why they do it. It's the same reason why people who come into chat all the time and they go, any tips to get better? And it's like, if I told you more aware of your surroundings, right? Then you're gonna start looking around in your games and try to like look around more. You don't even understand when or why you're supposed to be looking around. You have no clue. Like, it takes more experience. It takes, that's not what learning is. That's like, that's why, get, like teaching someone something isn't giving them the answer. It's figuring, it's telling them how to come to the answer, the correct answer on their own. That's truly what teaching is. Also, um, Okay, small gameplay mechanic. If the cart randomly stops, someone's there. And <laughs> I know you're looking at your mercy to heal them, but I would have been looking like, uh, guys, I, I know you're not cheating, but God, like the, the looking at the bat through the wall and like kind of like following a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. My brain's just like itching and going, huh, that's very odd. <laughs> but I think it's just your odd tendencies are just, just happen to look like it for a second. Okay, good attempts on these echoes, but like you, you got no mechanical skills, so I don't think you should honestly be worrying too much. Okay, your Ryan's a feeder. That 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 is the one thing so far I'll say. You know what? That's not your fault. 
almost everything else, you could have done something. That's that's not your fault. Unless you nanoed him in, but I don't even know if I would have done that. Nano your Zarya. 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 Okay. I'll go myself, I guess. So, remember we talked about the whole idea of you don't look at your teammates, what they're doing, you look for criticals? Your Ryan is a fucking feeder. But so are you. You're all in bronze. You're all fucking shit. But like, when you see someone, and I want you to watch this closely, watch, watch this big dumb oaf. Watch what he starts doing. He's holding W. He's going in. Wait for it. Hold on, it wasn't right there. It's here. Watch the Ryan. You see where he's going? He's going in. So this is the time you as a player go, uh-oh, dumbass gonna go feed. How do you keep him from feeding? Look at them. Heal them. Nade them. Nano them. Instead, you're not paying enough attention. You're sitting there firing two bullets and reloading on cooldown and pretending like, guys, we need to group up! Guys, we need to group up! We need to group up! We need to play together! Guys, group up! Group up! Dude, like all the fucking buzzwords, all the Overwatch buzzwords, group up! Uh, combo ults, play together! Um, uh, heal me! Dude, it just shut up, dude, like... Y'all, like, literally, it's just, it's just copying buzzwords of how to play the game. It's not actually how you play the game. And that's kind of what's happening here, is you're sitting in this corner waiting for everyone to be together. Oh, peel, peel! You have to, everyone's waiting to, to, to go in. Dude, please, use this nano on someone, the Zarya! Somebody! Stop sitting there! Dude, you could have a second one by now! and you, you were gonna use it, and then you decided not to. You could have slept this stupid Echo who, who's been harassing you the whole game. I've never seen had, like, look at how much time you have to sleep this Echo, right? We're gonna count. Where do they, where do they all? The 7.45, they hit ult. You had four and a half to five seconds to sleep him. Dude, can you make a decision? Like, for once? <laughs> this is good. This is the first good thing you've done the whole time. I'm not joking. This is fun. You had it. Do it again. No, no, do it again. Finish the reload. Scope in, please. I'm gonna call this the ML7 effect. I'm calling this the ML7 effect, where you think you can sit there and just fucking hip fire your teammates through traffic, through other people, because you think you have the mechanical skill of ML7. I'm totally sorry to tell you, you don't. You have the mechanical skill of a candy bar. You can't fucking hit anything. Please, for the love of God. If you're safe and around cover, scope in, just heal them. It's not that hard. Thank you. There goes another teammate. Dude, you would have three nanos by now if you just nanoed somebody. Well, there we go. There. Goodbye. You're not even gonna get to use this nano. I, dude, I'm I'm legitimately being blown away right now. Your Zarya, by the way, I just want you to know, your Zarya is the hard carry of this team. Your Zarya has been the hard carry this whole game. Like, the fact that you haven't recognized that your Zarya is the best player on your team, and it's not even close, is unbelievable. I would have Zar- I would have nano- Get in there. I actually- I was actually gonna rage because that was quite possibly one of the stupidest things I have ever fucking seen. Like, it's one thing to have the, the mechanical skill of like a rodent. It's another thing to not understand and know how to your cool know how to your use your cooldowns so about the same equivalency of a squirrel. It's another thing to not know how to nano and when to nano. It's another thing to not know 
what who's the best teammate on your team and who's the best player and who you should enable it's another thing to have no confidence and understand like me you know i should try to win this fight or whatever it's a completely different thing though you come out of fucking nowhere walks out in the middle of no into spawn or out of spawn sees the fights already over the kill feeds literally everyone's dead and waste the ultimate you've been sitting on for five minutes good lord good the ground is right there you're going to be okay help your zarya help your zarya help you hear the trap go off they're in trouble they're the best player on your team and you're just like no nah, i don't need you also your ryan is still a feeder Good lord. Good. That's actually a good nade. Unfortunately, though, you've completely stopped healing anyone on your team. Your mercy is actually doing all the work. No wonder all the mercies, though, in low rank, all they all they all just heal bot the whole time. Probably because the other support doesn't f***ing do anything. They just sit there and pretend to hit shots. Have they scoped in once this game? Yes, one time, and I complimented them on it. Ever since then, it's been borderline useless. Um, why are you playing up here? Do you actually understand why you play high ground? Because I think the answer is no. Um, because what's going to happen is they're going to walk in here. And if they push your team back into that back corner, you have to stick your head out. In, I guess it's bronze, so it's not really going to gonna matter. But you have to stick your head out over here to heal them. And you're going to get shot and you're dead. Instead of going behind your team, playing bottom right corner, being able to back out through the gate. You can't do that up here. You're just... So, good luck, I guess. Also, you're scoping in for the first... At least commit to the high ground, because you're just playing the same spot, but now on low ground. Go back to scoping, please. Go back to scoping, please. If you let your mercy die, oh, so help me God. So you just let your Ryan die instead. Okay. You haven't hit a shot. You know that, right? Like, at all. Like, <laughs> not like... Like, why sit there and try to hip fire everything when you can't hit anything? It's just like panic shots. Like, it doesn't do anything. You're literally sitting there holding down left click, tape down, and just pr and just moving your mouse around radically hoping you hit something. You know? Like, your mercy has to do so much healing instead of damage boosting. Not like they would. I mean, it's bronze. But, like, there's not even a chance for them to do it because you're not hitting any heals. Unless they're point blank, like right now, which that was better. Nade yourself? No, you missed. You missed. You you missed. You missed the ground. Also, yeah, I want you to point out if the mercy dies, the team dies. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty common. It seems to be the theme of the day. Luckily, she hasn't died totally yet, but you kind of aren't really helping. Oh my God, and she got the res off too. Huge high noon. I, I honestly, your your Zarya is legitimately the best player in this whole lobby, and it's not even close. Watching your back. Yeah, this is actually not bad. This is actually decent. Where are you going? Why why go to this window? It's even harder. Get in there. Okay, I'd rather you use nano than not use it, but there was literal like, like I hate to say it, like I'd rather you use it than not use it. But you have a bird's eye view. You have the best view of this whole area. Get here. What do you see? No one, at all. So I'm glad you used it, but there's nobody fucking there. Also, do you notice how many more shots they hit when they scoped in? Um, why did you jump into the Winston? Dude, let, make the Winston come into the window with you. Like, I mean, honestly, you didn't even see the Winston coming, but I don't even know why you jumped down. Like, that just, that makes no sense. If you're gonna jump down, jump down this window and go over here. Kinda just feeding. Also, small, small fun fact, I'm pretty sure the left door is faster. Your team is dead. Where are you going? Yeah, I'd, I'd leave. I'd run. 
Okay, this is good. Um, I said your Ryan was a feeder, but good lord, that is that was that was something else. What you, you I, I'm you don't, you know you can unscope, right? Like you can unscope, look around, and scope back in. It's like you're you can it's like you're you can only do one over the other. And this happens. That was probably your best sequence yet. This is by this is the best sequence you've had yet, and it's not even close. That's okay. I, even if you lose this fight, that was that was the best you've played so far, by fucking far. You actually might win this. You are you are actually part of the reason why you I'm win this fight. 100. percent That was that was your first good sequence. Now, do you understand why that was a good sequence? Because I think the answer is no. Um, one, you prioritized healing your other support to make sure you, they stay alive because they could help win the fight. Two, you actually nanoed your Ryan and tried to make an aggressive play. Three, you tried to counter the Winston Primal with Sleep Dart. You might have missed, but you attempted it. Four, you went for the aggressive nade when they pushed in to try to slow down their push. Five, you actually hit a few shots. There was like, you actually... They're on the other side of the wall, buddy. Um, you actually did make some good stuff, but look at him and just say, nah, I'm not healing you. Fuck you. Holy shit. This is also why randomly just throwing your ability sometimes is big scary, uh, because you genuinely have no idea. It's the same reason why everyone questions me, and they're like, why do you swing on Ryan if there's nothing there? It's like, do you know how many times I've accidentally hit somebody? Like, randomly a tracer blinks by me, and I turn to my right and go, poop, and just kill them, and I'm like, oh. I've hit, a, I've hit Sombras before out of Invis. <laughs> Like, if there's nothing better to do, do there's like you should always be trying to do something. You don't just stand there and AFK. The same thing kind of applies with like Ana here. Is like yeah, you're trying to be proactive and you're trying to throw nades, but just don't throw it for no reason because you never fucking know. Ran, I'm sorry, it's nades and sleep dart. You have to. You always have a goal. Have a reason. It's like you're not just doing it just to do it. Okay, your Ryan's gonna need a nade. You missed. Get your mercy prioritizing healing you. Wow, this... They must be a support player. They just know how to roll you. Save your mercy. Save your mercy. Save your mercy. I mean, you couldn't do anything about Tyra, but... At least trying to. Like, when they were... Like, what I mean by that is if they start getting shot while they're healing try, or rezzing, that's the best thing you can do. Uh, unfortunately, they got tired. So, so like, that's not your fault, but... Also, yeah, their Echo uh, does not like you, so I don't know what you did. I, I wish you had recognized by now that your Zarya is, like, the best player in this game, because if you actually pocketed your Zarya more, I genuinely think you win this game, no problem. But you see that Winston lining you up, right? Uh... Okay. So, this is, like, a perfect example of you not understanding... And this isn't just you, this is, like, players in general. You don't understand why you're doing the things you're doing. You're only doing them because you've been taught and told them. For example, nanoing your Rhine. Nanoing Rhine is very effective because it takes more damage, take more space, and it's also a very heavy damage dealer if it's up close. You have nanoed this Rhine four times or three times, and they have done nothing with all three of them. Uh, it's time to change the script and nano the Zarya because genuinely they are fucking useless. Also, probably would have saved that nade a little bit more. Take your medicine. Kind of. Also, you can do animation cancels with those, like when you hit, like when the clip or the mag enters the gun, then you could throw a nade and it does an animation cancel, which is kind of cool. Uh, you keep doing like the longest version for possible, but that's just kind of being picky. Um. Why are you going this way? That's much better. I feel like you're taking like the longest route possible to go be helpful. Um, so why are you going here? Like what? I don't like this positioning at all. I don't like it at all. This is this is big scary. This is actually massively big scary. I don't like this. Did your Ryan just fall off the map? It's like half kidding. <laughs> First off, uh, dude, your mechanics, man. They just need some severe help. 
But like, hey, at least there's always this to look at is, at least you ain't this guy. That's just impressive, honestly. That is that is the most bronze thing I've seen in a while. Just straight up walking off the map because they don't understand what the map is. So you know why your positioning sucks here? Because there's literally nowhere for you to run to. You're now on the cart. You're on the fucking, they're Echo, man. Their Echo is something else. You gonna kill him? Why'd you reload? Did you actually, I think you had bullets left. I, mean, I didn't see. So, you still know that Echo's behind you, right? Like, you've completely heard- like, do you have headphones, right? Like, you have headphones? Did you not hear the Echo behind? Maybe be helpful? This positioning is just bad. You can't be helpful here. So, the reason why this pos this positioning is bad is, one, if there's something like this happens, you can't be helpful and be aggressive. Two, if they get pressured here, there's nowhere for you to go. You're in the middle- you, you're in between. You have made the wrong decision. The right decision is A, be up here, or B, be back here. You chose C. C wasn't even an answer. It was a fucking A or B answer, and you fucking penciled in C. Probably save the nade for when they land, because just, just, you're not going to hit the nade when they're in the air. Unfortunate on the tire. Save the mercy. Nano the mercy. There you go. Throw another nade. Boom. Bingo. Stop trying to do DPS. Prioritize staying alive. Okay. And for, uh, to be honest with you, I'm being harsh with you at that point. Uh, it's kind of GG anyways, but... Uh, wait. Your team made it back? Why did you f fade in? I mean, to be fair, I probably wouldn't trust my teammates either, but... Now that your team is here, you should be backing away and trusting your teammates and healing them. Because your Zarya is your carry. Get the Zarya alive. Keep Zarya alive. Like, keep Zarya alive. Keep the Zarya alive. You have not healed the Zarya yet. Please. Stop DPSing the break and heal the Zarya! Let the Zarya go kill things! She's, your, she's literally your best player! And you won. I just want to say, there, this Zarya must have clutched. There's no fucking way that you, their Zarya did not clutch when I skipped. I refused, I refused to believe it had to have been your Zarya. I need to see. Do they bubble the Rhine in? Is that the, is that the strat? Honestly, he suffers from the same problem, like, really not confident and just, like, looks around. But, like, the potential is there. Crazy. The craziest thing is their mechanics aren't that good, and their decision-making is not that good, but their bubble usage is phenomenally good, and this saved them three times already. They save someone else, and they've saved themselves at the beginning, and just save themselves again. Their bubble, they just saved another one. Is he taking damage? Pops bubble, 100 charge. Like, seriously, genuinely, the bubble usage, like, this is a good example of their gameplay is literally all, like, knowledge that they've learned from playing. Like, that is actual game sense, like, genuinely. But, yeah. So your Zarya kind of clutched, again, so. Your Zarya, if you ever find this guy, make sure you give him a big old thank you for uh, winning you this game. Because I'm just going to say it, dude. I don't think you did a whole lot. Wasn't the worst, but it wasn't very good.